Hello, this is Forex Market Daily Review and we'll talk about Euro Grading Pot and Japanese Yen. Please check my previous videos so you can see what else I do and how I discuss the market. This is for traders. I hope that you are a trader and my videos will help you to understand how to trade intraday, how to trade for long-term ideas. This is Euro Dollar Weekly Chart. What I'm trying to show you here, the downtrend from 2008 and right now Current price is being on the middle part of this downgoing trend. If this part will be broken, we can predict that price goes to down area. It's right here, near like 086 area. This is not a focus, this is just a trading idea for long term if they break this middle part. This is not a call to action, okay? So on weekly chart, this is a support area. And right now you could see that price went to this area, give, gave you rebound, but this is not a moment for us to buy euro. This is just a rebound due to some technical reason. Also on weekly and on daily chart, you can see the support area with a green line, which is the lower price in 2015 low price in 2016 and this is the lowest price in 2022 so this is the support area if you check candlestick signals on weekly chart there was a buy signal but i told you that tendency is still down going so on weekly chart we don't have an idea to buy and hold euro on daily chart i showed you this strong resistance this is a really strong resistance for six days, 1.0220 area is not broken yet. For six days, this is a strong resistance. But tomorrow we are going to get news from the Fed, and it means if they change the monetary policy, your dollar may jump up to 1.0310. And this is something that I want to aware you about. You have to be ready that price may test this level of resistance. And if you sell right now, your stop loss should go above 1.0310. So on daily chart, you can see with your eyes some really strong resistance. We go to 4-hour chart. And in my previous videos, I told you that this is a good level of support. If they break it, we can sell down to 0, 1.0000 again, but only if they break it on 4-hour chart. And also, please, remember about the 200 moving average. It's over here. This is 1.0310 area. They may jump to this price. You have to be aware of that. You can't sell right now and just hold your, your short position it's possible that price will test this resistance. So on 30-minute chart, on 15-minute chart, it looks so beautiful for short positions, really beautiful. And my total idea is to uh, trade against euro. My target goes to 0 0.96 area. But on 15-minute chart and on 30-minute chart, I told you about this support, which is 1.0160. And right now, price is trying to break this support on 15-minute chart. If you check the stochastic escalator, the price is being near the, the 20 area. You can't sell right now due to this technical reason. If you check 30-minute chart, price is near the 20 area as well. So technically, it's not beautiful to sell right now. You sell either from 1.0310 or after price stays under this area 10160 for a couple of hours it stays over here stochastic escalator or RSI goes up gives you sell signal and after that you sell so right now this is not a good idea to sell because you can see that after this range stochastic escalator is showing you over sold zone that's why it's not good to sell right now. And until the monetary policy of America isn't changed, until that period for like more than one day, I would say that it's possible that your dollar stays in a range. 
this is my idea that general general idea is to sell your dollar it's really important to sell without big stop loss so this is something that we should look for for great britain pound resistance area is around 1.2080 i showed you this technical picture and it's almost touching this level of resistance which is 200 moving average on a four hour chart and i think this is an important resistance so what you can do you can try to sell but also please remember that price may test this 200 moving average with one candle it can just go up go down and after that fall so your target goes to 1.1760 after that your target goes to 116 on 15 minute chart on 15 minute chart they already broke the 200 moving average but rsi is near 30 area stochastic oscillator is near 20 area so it doesn't look beautiful to sell right now if you check one hour chart it's on 200 moving average and rsi stochastic is near the oversold zone so it's not beautiful to sell right now if you make this kind of support they didn't break it yet that's why i would say that it is <coughs> dangerous to sell <coughs> with idea 116 only after they break this area retest you sell okay and for this we need news what kind of news the monetary policy decision is a really good idea to work for this instrument and also i want to discuss united states dollar with the japanese yen because i told you that there was a support over here 135.50 they test it and they may go to 135.30 but we need to find entry point for that and i still didn't sell i worked uh, with short positions uh, for uh, your japanese yen but not for japanese yen with american dollar and this area pay attention please this area which is around 136.80 may become area after which they go down so this may be area for us to sell united states dollar with the japanese yen with the target 135.30 but i'm not in a hurry to work with this currency pair i'm being really honest uh, i just discussed with you what i may do but i don't think i'm ready to do that right now i'm gonna watch what they do here if they show me one hour candle with a shadow on the top side it means that seller is strong and i can try to sell like this one on 15 minute chart i can see shadow on the top side it's good it's trying to show me that this this was a retest here is some seller coming to us i need to see kind of the same but on one hour chart and after that i will be ready to sell united states dollar with the japanese yen with the target 135.30 on for our chart it doesn't look that beautiful to sell right now but i may do that because i'm not ready to buy this currency pair i will buy only after they break 138 area yes i'm such a trader that i'm waiting for market to show me a good signal and i'm gonna wait for one hour for one day for one week whenever i get trading signal if we discuss opportunity to trade for our chart and 30 minute chart it means that we need signals on this time frame and right now this is a technical area for us to get a rebound this is 200 moving average this is just tendency line which market is trying to test and if they give us a rebound from here we can sell if they don't give us a rebound and american dollar is not showing us some good point of view to understand that this price will go down i'm not going to work at all i will just skip it okay so we discussed your great great compound and japanese yen i wish you profit guys sign up for my telegram channel and also watch my previous videos on youtube because every video that i make this is like a lesson for you why i decide to trade why i decide to sell something or why i decide to do nothing if i don't get signal i don't trade and also i would advise you to watch my short videos because i make some answers to your questions in these videos i wish you profits bye